All right, I'll admit that the title of this video is a bit incendiary, but that is by design. It's common practice on YouTube to title videos in such a way that elicit an emotional response from the potential viewership, whether it's fear, joy, elation, anxiety, or outrage. In this case, a diehard Star Wars fan might be scrolling through and in their recommended they see this Star Wars fans are pathetic. What do you think they're gonna do? Keep scrolling and just go on with their day? <laughs> Fuck no! No, they're gonna click on this motherfucker and come down to the comments and tell me how fat and retarded and wrong and ugly and stupid that I am and then leave a dislike and then move on with their day and the world spins round. But, uh, well, now that I have you here, why don't you just stick around for a few and we'll talk about why Star Wars fans suck humongous, hairy, sweaty rhinoceros dicks. <laughs> So before jumping in, I feel like I should point out that the intro was it was an obvious, egregious overgeneralization, right? Not all Star Wars fans are pathetic. In fact, I'm a Star Wars fan myself. I love the franchise. I'm 32 now. Fuck, I'm actually, I'm 33. Fuck! I grew up with it, you know what I'm saying? The originals, 4, 5, and 6, and then saw the others in the theaters as they came out. It's an exciting thing. It's a great franchise. I love sci-fi. I've loved it my whole life. But like any good fandom, or like any fandom at all for that matter, there's the typical breakdown, right? You have the 80% of the population that are casual fans that go out, they'll maybe watch the movie in the theaters or they'll pick it up on DVD. They like it, they enjoy it, and they move on with their day. Then you have the 18% that are the diehard fans, the one that buy all the merchandise, they buy the figurines, they dress up, go to the cosplays, they go to the conventions. And then there's the 2% that fucking ruins it for everyone else. The same 2% that would go as far as to harass and bully the actress, and the key word here is actress, that portrays a role in one of the new Star Wars movies that this 2% maybe didn't like or didn't agree with to the point where this actress felt it was necessary to go dark and shut down her Instagram and just get off social media because she didn't want to deal with the harassment any longer. Now, if you're part of the Triple D gang, I mean a true Tomato Mafia member, you're also a Star Wars fan. I mean, I already know that you're an even-keeled, level-headed motherfucker because that's how we do it here in the Tomato Mafia. We're part of that 98% of Star Wars fans, it goes from casual fan all the way up to kind of crazy obsessive. That's fine, you want to go to the conventions, you want to dress up like it's here. You might even have your girlfriend dress up like Chewbacca while she milks your prostate with a C-3PO figurine. I don't give a f <laughs> But if you're part of that 2% that's willing to bully and harass someone, an actress that portrayed a role that you didn't like because you're so die-hard of a fan, if you're part of that two motherfucking percent, get the fuck out of here! You are not welcome! Yeah. Kelly Marie Tran has deleted all the posts off her Instagram due to months of harassment she has received for her character Rose in The Last Jedi. Now, if you're a Star Wars fan and you haven't been living in a nuclear bunker for the past six months, you're probably well aware that this character Rose from The Last Jedi has been a hot topic area of debate amongst the Star Wars fan community. Now, normal discourse around a film is, is awesome. It's healthy. It's one of the best parts, I think, about watching movies is to be able to talk about it, what you liked, what you disliked, you know, talking about that stuff with your peers, your friends, whether that's in real life or on message boards, forums, comment sections, whatever. But if you habitually harass someone that's paid to portray a fictional character in a fictional sci-fi film, simply because you didn't like their role in the movie? Well, then you, my friend, are 100% a piece of shit loser. This is the fan base that drove Jake Lloyd insane, made Hayden Christensen quit acting, made George Lucas not want to make any more movies, made Daisy Ridley delete her Instagram, and just recently made Kelly Marie Tran leave Instagram. I love Star Wars, but fuck the fans. Now, I see tweets like this, and it breaks my fragile heart, because I'm a Star Wars fan. And 98% of Star Wars fans are normal fucking people that just enjoy the franchise and like to debate the ups and the downs and what's good and what's bad about the new films and the old films compared to the new films and all this shit. But it's that fucking 2%, man. That 2% of bad apples that fucking ruins it for everybody. Leave Kelly Marie Tran alone. Leave her alone! <laughs> Listen, I'm not a film critic, but I didn't personally think that this character Rose really added a whole lot of substance to The Last Jedi, and a lot of her interaction with Finn was just kind of over-the-top corny, I think, but, I mean, what do we expect? The fucking franchise 
is owned by Disney. I still enjoyed the film. Shit, even if I hated the film, it never would have crossed my fucking mind to try and destroy the life of the person who played a character I didn't like in the film. That is some next level loser shit right there. Imagine training as an actor your whole life and landing a major role in Star Wars. Now imagine cowardly neckbeard cunts abusing you from every direction on social media because they didn't like the character you played. Kelly Marie Tran did nothing wrong. Shame on all of you. Funny how it's Kelly Marie Tran and Daisy Ridley who've been driven off social media and not Mark Hamill or Adam Driver or Ryan Johnson. Almost like there's an element of misogyny and racism to the harassment that has nothing to do with the film you didn't like. Now you see the terms racism and misogyny come up a lot in this conversation and I can't really say that I disagree. I'm sure there's you know a large element of both of those things at play here in this particular 2%, but at the end of the day, it's just shitty people being shitty people. And unfortunately, there's always gonna be shit people in the world. Now, in typical internet fashion, the actions of a couple of assholes have elicited an outcry of support uh, from the online community, just hundreds of thousands of people sending tweets and showing, uh, you know, words of kindness, sending her words of kindness, and it's nice to see. I mean, she seems like a sweet girl, honestly, and regardless of whether or not you like the movie or her role in it, nobody deserves to be harassed just for doing their job. It's fucking ridiculous. Anyways, thanks for letting me vent a little bit about that fucking 2% that ruins it for everybody else, man. I'd love to hear your view on the matter. If you just go down to the comments, leave a little comment for me. And on your way back up, if you could just stop briefly uh, and hip thrust that motherfucking like button, I'd greatly appreciate that too. Hope you guys have a wonderful uh, rest of your week and I'll be back soon with something that probably a little bit more lighthearted. All right, peace. <laughs> Fucking you.